today is to journey back in time and dig up the ancient secrets of the past. Those ancient secrets have been hidden by the ruling class beneath the shifting sands of Egypt for more than 4,000 years. The ancient Egyptians kept detailed records of their culture and history in tombs, in temples, and on pottery. a Hebrew patriarch doing beneath the queen's throne chair. Number two, why was the queen crowned at her coronation ceremony on top of a symbolic Egyptian step pyramid? Number three, the monarch's crown has 12 stones at the base, each representing the 12 Hebrew tribes. The 12 stones of the 12 tribes were also worn on the breastplate of Hebrew high priests in Canaan. Number four, the Union Jack represents the reunion of the United Kingdom of the 12 tribes of Jacob, or Jack Up. The Union Jack is red, white, and blue, the same colors as the three crowns of Egypt. Number five, the royal scepter originates in ancient Egypt and was carried by the Egyptian god Amun and by Egyptian pharaohs who called themselves the son of God. The royal scepter is now carried by pharaonic descendant Queen Elizabeth II. Her scepter contains the world's largest cut diamond called the Star of Africa. Number six. The queen's punishing flail or whip is partially hidden under her arm. The flail or whip also originates with the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Number seven, the symbol of the bee can be found within the queen's royal wardrobe. In ancient Egypt, bees were the symbol of Egyptian royalty as well as the symbol of Egypt. Number eight, the symbols on the British coat of arms reveal Britain's Hebrew origin. Number nine, the headdress worn by judges and the queen's high-ranking officials originate in ancient Egypt. Number 10, kilts like the one worn by Prince Charles originate with the Egyptian pharaohs who wore white kilts. God save Queen Elizabeth. Long live Queen Elizabeth. Number 15, incest was practiced by ancient Egyptian royalty. Mothers married sons and brothers married sisters to keep the power and the money all in the family. 